What's up, juice lovers? Today we're in North Carolina in front of the headquarters of Clean Juice, the fastest growing juice bar franchise in the U.S. Every store is 100% certified organic, and they make all their cold pressed juice in each store. With that, let's go inside and meet the owners, Kat and Landon Eccles. Thanks, Kelly. Hey, it's the Eccles. Hey, Charlie, how are you doing? Yeah, great to see you. Good to see Thank you. Good to see you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, welcome to Clean Juice. Yeah, yeah. thanks so much for coming. Great. We got this orange cold press for you. Okay. What's special about this juice? Um, we love this one because it's a flu fighter, it's a cold fighter, it's packed full of vitamin C. Um, it's sweet, so everyone likes it. My kids love it, and they get ingredients like turmeric that they would nev never otherwise have. All right. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely really clean, like your name <laughs> says. Yeah. And surprisingly sweet. Mm -hmm. I can see why the kids would like this too. Yeah, it's definitely a uh, favorite all around. Yeah, it's great. Well, I'd love to learn more about your business. We appreciate you coming in. Let's um, head right upstairs. Our office is up there and we can chat more about Clean Juice. All right, let's do it. Cool. Awesome. All right, so you guys are married, right? We are married. <laughs> we just <laughs> celebrated our 10 year anniversary, actually. All right, do you have any kids? Yes, we have five kids. You have five kids? <laughs> yes, sir. All right, so, so what, one day you guys wake up and Kat goes, Having five kids is fun, but we need a challenge. Right? <laughs> so let's let's open an organic juice franchise, a franchise all across America. Mm -hmm. That's is that how it started? Pretty close to how it actually <laughs> happened. I, we were living up in Pennsylvania. Uh, I was in commercial real estate at the time, okay. and I was traveling a ton. We really weren't seeing each other that much, and it was a hard lifestyle, you know, to try to work in while also trying to have a family. Um, so we decided to come together. Uh, I quit that job, obviously. We moved to Charlotte and opened a juice bar, and here we are. Cool, so when was the first juice bar? It was um, June 5th, 2015, we opened the doors to our first one. Wow, so almost exactly two years ago yeah. now? Mm -hmm. Great. Where's your business at now? So in just two years, we have eight locations open, um, and we have over 60 more in development. Whoa. Mm -hmm. yes. So 60 franchises? Mm -hmm. Or does that include like some corporate stores? Or... There's a few corporate stores in there, but most of the growth has been through franchising. Okay. We started franchising about a year ago, and it's obviously been really well received. Um, people just love the fact that we are certified organic and we're the first juice bar to be certified organic. Um, and that we also cold press at each location for those guests specifically. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're dedicated to being organic, dedicated to being to making juice in every store, right? Mm -hmm. So what kind of challenges does that bring up like as you franchise? Um, it's definitely a lot of work, um, but it was something that for me was a non-negotiable. It's funny, when we were talking about opening it, um, we looked at a couple different concepts and we looked at not doing organic and I just said, okay, that's fine, but I just won't drink anything there. <laughs> um, that's how important it was to me. And, um, I feel like the organic market is just growing. So we contacted CCOF, which is a, um, a certification group, and they are super helpful. They worked really well with us just kind of getting our logs in order and making sure um, we knew the process. And then we called them and said, hey, we want a franchise. And they said, we've never done that before. <laughs> um, but they were super um, willing and able to help. And now we have a really streamlined process for our franchisees. Um, it took us about a year to do it, and now we have the process down to about a month. So. Oh wow. Yeah. So one month start to finish, you can get certified. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and in fact, when our franchisees initially open up, they open up with the certification, and we're able to do that through kind of the parent of Clean Juice. So mm -hmm. because we're certified, and because they follow all the same steps and guidelines, um, they open up being USDA certified. Okay. So you pretty much planned on franchising from day one. So we didn't technically plan on franchising from day one. We definitely wanted to grow our business, so we certainly wanted to add more corporate stores. Um, a few months into the process, we just had so much, so many requests and so many inquiries to franchise um, that we came together and thought that we wanted to bring this opportunity to other people. Right. I think even speaking to cold pressing in our first store, you know, we made the kitchen super small and we would have to roll the big cold press machine out and hose it down. Yeah. And now in all of our new stores, we have a dedicated, you know, shower we made for the cold press where we can hose it right in store. Um, people can cold press around the clock so someone's not coming in for third shift to press through the night. Um, so just little stuff like that that has made um, cold pressing be able to be an easier part of our business. Because at first it was definitely, I would say it was, you know, a stress point for us. Yeah, we really had to figure it out, and once we got the right system in place, mm -hmm. it became a lot easier, but we mm -hmm. had to learn that system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I guess it kind of speaks to knowing from day one, like we're doing cold press. Right. Yes. Because maybe if it got hard, you'd be like, this is too hard, let's not do cold press. Right. right. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. For us, there were really two non-negotiables, and that was being certified organic and using organic produce and materials to make our smoothies. And number two was cold pressing. Um, we really feel like to deliver, you know, the healthiest, best product that we could, you mm -hmm. needed those two things. Mm -hmm. So you have a training system in place for your franchisees. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about that a little bit? Um, they come here to our headquarters uh, for three weeks. They go through a one-week classroom program, and then they're actually in our stores for two weeks. They're learning how to make all of our all of our smoothies, all of our acai bowls. Um, of course, learning how to cold press and run the cold press right. machine. Um, but then from there, we also have a really dense operations manual. It's a thousand pages and it teaches them, you know, if we never talk to them again, which obviously won't be the case, <laughs> we could give them our operations manual and it tells them every single thing about our, our business. So 60 franchises sold now. Um, next year, how many do you plan on selling? Our goal is 100 a year. 100 and a year? Yeah. For how many years? Forever? <laughs> <laughs> We said we said 505 years. So I'm sure if you talk wow. to our uh, our chief development officer, he would say more than that now. But <laughs> that was the goal a few yeah. months ago. And I think it's good to have a numbers goal, but really, you know, we want to do things the right way. Mm -hmm. And if we can build out the support to open 100 a year, then mm -hmm. that's going to be the goal. Um, but you know, I think right now we're averaging uh, about six or seven units a month uh, sold. Um, we'll eventually start opening that money a month as well, and we're we're ramping up for that. Um, but you know, I think our core team is intact, and from here on out, we're just adding support roles like training and store launch. Um, so I really think that we're gonna build the infrastructure to hit those goals. Mm -hmm. So I noticed in your company, your core values are verses from the Bible. Mm -hmm. How would you say that your spirituality plays a role in your business? It's the biggest thing for us. Um, on every bottle and every cup, you'll see um, this verse here, which is our mission statement. Okay. And it says, dear friend, I hope all is well with you and that you are healthy in body as you are strong in spirit. Um, and that's just, you know, it's our life for us, right? Everyone that we meet, we want to be their friend. We want to love them like Jesus loves them. We want to um, care about them. And then we know that being healthy in your body is super important, but um, being in your spirit is super important as well. And we really take uh, kind of mind, body, soul, wellness as a whole really um, important here. We're starting to see the juice market change. Cold pressed juice was this super trendy thing that was kind of hard to find for a while. Mm -hmm. Now it's starting to spread. Where do you see the juice market going in the next five years? So I think on a macro level, I just see it growing. Um, you know, there's obviously companies companies like us who are growing, you know, at a very fast clip. Um, like Kat said, we plan to have 500 locations in 60 months. Um, so my goal and where I see the really of the future of juicing going is that there's juice on every corner, right? Similar to coffee. Um, I don't believe it'll ever get to that scale, but I think it can get really close. So I believe that we're really just at the tip of the iceberg. Um, and we've been so well, well received in the communities that we serve. And we have such a high repeat business uh, for our cold pressed juices and our smoothies. Um, that I don't see it slowing down. Mm -hmm. what you, what's interesting is when we first started, everyone said, you gotta go to New York, you gotta go to LA. And I said, why would we go to New York or LA? <laughs> they already have that and yeah. the rest of the country wants it. Um, so that's been really important to us. You know, we put our first store in suburban North Carolina. Yeah. Like, you know, it's not exactly known as Healthy Central, but um, we were so well received. So that just tells me there's so many communities across the country yeah. that want access to healthy products. They want access to organic products. Um, and so we're willing to give it to them, and that's why we think our growth plans can be achieved. Yeah, that's so true. Every time I talk to someone that's just opened the first juice, juice business, like the Midwest or somewhere that doesn't have it, uh -huh. they can't keep the juice on the shelves. Yeah. It's yeah. like people line out the door. Yeah. So what advice would you give to someone that wants to open a juice bar? Besides yeah. buy yeah. a Clean Juice franchise. <laughs> First I'd tell them to visit cleanjuicefranchising.com, <laughs> um, but then I would tell them to just Take your time, do it right. Mm -hmm. um, you're gonna make mistakes along the way, that's okay. Learn from those mistakes and just really be prepared to put in a lot of work. Mm -hmm. You know, people say, oh, you just run a juice bar, but there's a lot that goes into it. You know, we spent 10 months, the two of us, just working together um, without either one of us working on anything else besides opening our clean juice. So it took two people almost a year to open our first location. Mm -hmm. So um, it's definitely not easy. It's not for the faint of heart. But if you are you know, passionate in what you believe in and you're ready to put in that hard work, then just go for it. Mm -hmm. And I would challenge them um, 
you know, to do the right thing, to use products of high integrity to cold pressure juice versus HPP, um, just to really do your research about what really makes juice healthy and then to do those things for your customers. Absolutely. Well, Kat, Landon, thank you so much for having me in. It's been awesome learning about your business and watching you guys grow over the last two years. Charlie, thank you so much for coming down. It's been a pleasure getting to know your crew and mm -hmm. really working with you uh, since we started. And um, we're just excited about the future. So thank you. Awesome. Cheers. 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 Clean juice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>